Hello, and welcome to Hack My Tech. Today, we are going to cover something that I made with my kids. Uh, they wanted to create a fake restaurant called uh, Oreo Sunday, and they had some food items that they specifically wanted for this restaurant. So I turned to ChatGPT and had some fun. So Oreo Sunday. If you look on my screen here, um, got a nice app icon, nice storefront, thanks to ChatGPT, and then different menu items, thanks to ChatGPT. Uh, if you click on one of the menu items, we'll go with Oreo Sunday. It comes up with a nice detail page. Uh, classic vanilla ice cream topped with crushed Oreos chocolate syrup, and a sprinkle of magic. That was also added by ChatGPT. And uh, my kids decided to make it $100. So I hit order, order confirmation. Your order is on the way. And uh, I can go to any one of these, do the same exact thing, and it just comes up with these beautiful detail pages. And all it is is just a table view. Yeah, just beautiful detail pages. Okay, so here's how you can do this at home. So the first step, we're going to create a struct. And that's going to be food item. And it's going to contain name, description, price, category, and image. Uh, image name. Under menu view controller, this is going to be our main view controller that houses everything that you see over here. We're going to have a table view set up. So we need a UI table view delegate and a UI table view data source. This is done all programmatically through UI kit. I'm going to stick with UI kit as long as I can. Swift UI is not going to overtake me. Um, I've had too much fun with uh, UI kit, and I just don't understand Swift UI yet. So, for the haters out there, UI kit's the way to go. Okay, so set up restaurant image, set up table view, and then populate food items. All right, so the first thing we want to set up is this restaurant image up here. So, we'll go down to that. And all that is is just an image view. Uh, storefront image is what I named it. Scale, aspect fill, clips to bound is true, and then restaurant image. So that's the view that we set up. The next step is setting up the table view. Now this is down here, and what we did is just your basic table view. Uh, we ended up setting it up with food item cell. I hate using just the random cell as um, for uh, table views. And one thing I also hate is just the idea of using a, um, not having a actual, the other thing I also hate is not having an actual icon, um, not having actual images. What I want to give you is complete apps that you can take and make your own. And the only way I know to do that is to give you a complete app. Um, view did layout subviews. Okay, so let's go. Uh, the next on the list is populate food items. So we just made uh, an array that contains uh, an array of food item that contains the name, description, category, price, and image name. Basically our struct. And you can add as many different uh, combinations of foods as you like uh, to the app. All right. The meat and potatoes of this is going to be your basic uh, numbers of rows and section, which would be food items dot count, and then your self a row app. Now I chose to go with a uh, actual. Uh, 
with a, a table view cell, what do you call it? A, a custom table view cell. So looking at this, uh, I've got uh, pretty much the item image, which you see here, title label, which is chicken nuggets, description, which is crispy chicken nuggets, and then you've got your price. And I've got it all laid out nicely inside a table view. All right, so here's the basics. You want to set up constraints. Um, this is a, a required uh, init that you have to put into it. And then um, the other thing is a configure. And what we do here is we highlight what the font is as well as the format which means that 549 is actually a dollar amount and then we go to detail table view or detail view controller which is what happens when we click on it so I have a scroll view just in case this is bigger than what it is. Let's see if we can find one that's bigger than. Yep, on this it's pretty much going to be the same. But regardless, there's a scroll view if you need it. So we've got all that set up. We've configured the cells or configured the views. We've ordered tap button, which gives us an order confirmation and then setting up the scroll view which you don't technically need and that is the code it fits on one page and it's as simple as that so I will have this available on my website hack my tech uh, for you to download uh, and keep in mind uh, that you want to make this your own so change it to any business you like it's a good um, example of how things work. So let's say you wanted to adjust this to, I don't know, um, construction. So let's go to ChatGPT and make this a construction app. So I'm going to go to Safari. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a new chat and all I need to do is change out the images so to do this I'm gonna make a construction logo and let's just say construction company um, construction company building and you have to say create a picture And I'm letting ChatGPT make the name up. So we wait for a second. Nova Construction Company. I'm pretty sure that is something. All right, so we got that. So we'll create an image of a house and make that part of this. So while that's going, let's go back into this. And we're going to change some things. We're going to change this to custom home.
Let our company build you the house of your dreams. And then for a price, we can put starting at, let's say, 250000 Category is going to be home. And then we'll change the image. And I'm just going to leave it Oreo Sunday, and I'll just change out the image. So let's see if they've made that. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So we'll go with that. Let's say skyscraper. And then we'll create one. skyscrapers are us and we'll just put in here um, create a beautiful if I could spell today a beautiful office space in downtown the period off and we're going to put in there I don't know how much skyscrapers cost so we'll just do 300 okay so just create a fictional fictitious number and then I'm just going to delete the rest of these we're just going to have two options for this construction company all right so let's go here beautiful picture all right so I need to take these three and then export them and then I'm going to export them to my Oreo Sunday office Okay, so that's office. We'll pull this one in. And you have to export them or else the image file won't match up. So all we're doing is exporting to PNG. And this is going to be house. And see, I'm not being too particular on this, but just trying to get the names in there. And then this is going to be exported to Skyscraper. All right. Now, we'll go back into Xcode. Go here. Go to Assets. And then what we're going to do is change the top two, which... If we look, okay, if we look over here, the top two is Oreo Sunday and regular Sunday. So for Sunday, that's going to be Skyscraper. So let's open up my files. And then we'll bring over, where is the Skyscraper? We'll bring over the Skyscraper. And all I'm going to do is just place it in place of it. Storefront image is going to change to this one. And then we're going to change Oreo Sunday to the home. All right. And then we're going to press play. And as you can see, we've got our office building right here. 
I've got our custom home and skyscrapers RS. And all I did was just change this out and you can buy that. Now we could do something in there to make the numbers match up a little better. I, I don't like that. But all in all, it gives us a good picture. Now let's see if we can fix that number issue. Just by adding, nope, it won't let us do it that way. Well, that'll take some more work with ChatGPT, but for the most part, I think you get the idea of what we're trying to do here. Um, it's a great way to um, get into this style of app. And uh, as I said, the source code will be on my webpage. Thank you.